the best cafe in the world. Today, we're looking for things all over the place. I'm looking over here, and Small's looking all the way over there. Little Cook, this is Big Cook. Are you receiving me? Over. Sorry? Are you receiving me? Pardon? Oh, Noodles, Small's so far away. Can you hear me? You're not near me. That's the problem. OK, Small. We need to find the crockery. First, the plates. Did you say flakes? I've got loads of cornflakes. No, I said plates, the big round ones. Have a look near your spoon. Have a look on the moon? I can't do that. It's miles away. What about bowls? Moles on the moon? No idea. Probably not. No, Small. We need to find plates and bowls to make sure they're clean. Cream? You want some? <gasps> OK, I'll send it your way. <laughs> <laughs> small? <laughs> Oops, maybe you didn't want cream. Sorry, Jen. This kitchen is just so big. When I'm way over here and you're way over there, my little ears can't hear you. We've got a customer. I'd better get cleaned up. <laughs> I'm off with a whiz to see who it is. Whoop. Who's in our cafe today, Small? Give us a clue. See if you can guess too. It's a lady who sings on the stage with a really loud voice. Who could sing so lovely and loudly? Do you know who it is? Is it an opera singer? Yes, it's our good friend Olive the opera singer. She has the most beautiful singing voice in the world. Mashed potatoes. I can't believe she came to our cafe. I wonder what we should cook for her. It needs to be scrummy and full of song. I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. Olive was a brilliant opera singer with a wonderfully wobbly voice. One day, I went to see her perform. When Olive sang high, she made the roof wobble. And when Olive sang low, she made the stage wobble. She was brilliant! But just as Olive was finishing the first half of her show, her wonderfully wobbly voice disappeared. Are you OK, Olive? I asked. Olive replied in a whisper. I've lost my voice. Has anybody seen it? And she stood on her head to see if she could find it. When that didn't work, she tried lots of other things to get her voice back. She thought she might have a frog in her throat. So she tried ribbiting to get rid of it. Ribbit, ribbit. But that didn't work. Then she thought she might have a tickle in her throat. So I tickled her to try and wiggle it loose. But that didn't work either. Then I had one of my brilliant ideas. Maybe Olive just had a sore throat. I knew the perfect cure for that. And I made her a nice drink of honey and lemon. Drink this, I said, and you'll feel much better. Olive glugged it down in one gulp and sang out a great big thank you. Olive
Dave had found her voice again. And when she sang, she made the whole world wobble. Ooh, 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 ooh. Bravo, bravo, go on. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Yes, it was quick thinking to make a mug of honey and lemon so Olive could sing again. I wonder if we can cook her something just as good. <gasps> yes, something to make her taste buds sing. Hmm, we need to do some serious thinking. <gasps> Ooh. I know Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There are recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's book. What about this one? Musical muffins. They're made with honey and lemon, so Olive is bound to love them! Perfect. Can you read out the ingredients, Small? Coming up, Jen. To make the muffins, we need some plain flour, baking powder, brown sugar, butter, eggs and milk. Great. We've got all those. And for the syrup, we need honey, water and lemons. Uh-oh, we haven't got any lemons. Don't worry, Jen. I can whiz off on my spoon and get some. And I'll get everything ready. Why don't you come along too? Woohoo! Small, whiz away! I wonder what she'll see today. Whoa. Wow, look at all those lemons. Lemons grow on trees. These lemons are growing in a greenhouse to keep them warm. The lemons grow from pretty flowers. They start off very small and get bigger. Their skin is green to begin with and when they are fully grown, the lemon skin starts to turn yellow. Now they're ready to pick. The picker is going to pick the yellow lemons. Gently cut it off, carefully does it and add it to the bowl. The lemons can now be sent to the shops. Aurelia and Roman are looking inside the lemons. They look very juicy. Aurelia is squeezing the juice out of the lemon and pouring it into a glass. Look at all that lemon juice. A bit more squeezing, Roman. Can you see the lemon seeds? Look at all the seeds. Pick them out because you can't eat those. <laughs> I wonder what the lemon juice tastes like. Ooh -hoo! I think it's a bit sour. Now Aurelia and Roman are planting the lemon seeds in soil. What a brilliant idea! Put them in carefully. Cover them up and give them plenty of water to grow. One day these seeds will become trees which will grow scrumptious lemons. These are perfect for our recipe. Time to head back to the cafe. I'll see you there. Woohoo! I'm back! Hi, Small. I've measured out the ingredients and got everything ready. Jen, I still can't hear you all the way over there. Sorry, Small. I was just saying, I've got everything ready. Did you get the lemons? Here they are! Brilliant! That's everything we need. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Honey pots and hedgehogs. 
hog roll, starry breakfast skies, robot cake and power shake and sunflower surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. She is big cook and she is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets so rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and ready to cook. Do you remember the ingredients for musical muffins? For the muffins, we need plain flour, 200 grams, baking powder, three teaspoons, brown sugar, 190 grams, butter, 100 grams, eggs, two medium-sized, milk, 180 millilitres, and for the syrup we need honey, 80 millilitres, water, 50 millilitres, and two lemons. We'll need the juice and the zest, the outside skin. That's everything. You get started, Jen, while I come up with a brilliant plan so my little ears can hear you wherever you are in the kitchen. Sounds great! Pardon? <laughs> I've just set the oven to 200 degrees Celsius or gas mark six. And I've put the muffin cases in the muffin tin ready for later. Thanks, Small. Now we can make the muffin mix. First, put the flour, brown sugar, butter, and eggs into a mixing bowl and give everything a good stir. Don't forget, it's important to wash your hands really well after handling raw egg. Make sure it's all mixed in well together. We want it to be nice and creamy. Look, Jen, I've made my own theatre. I like your audience of toys. I thought it would be fun to perform to them, just like Olive does. I could sing opera. <coughs> And I can act. A pea or not a pea? That is the question. That's not a pea, Small. It's a sprout. Oh, noodles. So it is. <laughs> the mixture's all stirred together. So now it's time to add the lemon zest. That's the yellowy skin of the lemon. Ask your grown-up helper to help you do this bit. Use a grater to grate off all that lovely zesty skin. This will add lemony flavour. Then add the baking powder. What does the baking powder do, Jen? It helps the mixture rise to turn the muffins big and fluffy. Let me just have a sprinkle. Ooh. Am I any bigger yet? No, Small. It only works on cakes. Oh, noodles. Now we're going to add the milk to the mixture. Gently pour it in and stir to make a smooth batter. Good stirring, Jen. Take a bow. Uh, OK. You always take a bow on stage after a brilliant performance, so it's good to practice. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you. Our muffin mixture is stirred and ready. Now, to spoon it equally into the muffin cases. Gently does it. I'm using a smaller spoon to scrape all the batter off the bigger spoon. Big spoon in, little spoon helps. Like Big Cook and Little Cook. We want each muffin case to be about three quarters full. Then, pop them in the oven for 25 minutes. This is a job for your grown-up helper. Because the oven is hot, hot, hot. They need to bake until they're golden brown on top. I'll set the timer for 25 minutes. While the muffins are baking, we can make the syrup to go on top. Ask your grown-up helper to turn on the heat, then in a saucepan, add the honey, very sticky, water, 
and juice from the two lemons. It can get hot, so be careful. Stir them all together and simmer gently for five minutes. Small, can you make decorations to go on top, please? We need to draw some musical notes on card. No problem, I'm on it. Here's my pen and some card. <laughs> Time's up. Our muffins are cooked and cooled. Our syrup's cooled and ready too. How are the musical notes? They're finished and I cut them out. Aren't they beautiful? Thanks, Small. They're lovely. I'll stick them onto some lolly sticks. Grab some sticky tape. There. You're welcome. Now let's spoon the cooled syrup on top of the muffins. We're giving them a nice lemony drizzle. This will make our muffins nice and moist. We've made six muffins, but we're just going to send one through for Olive. Pop in the musical notes. La la, la, and hey presto. It looks marvellously musical. Olive will love it. Let's send it through. A honey and lemon musical muffin. Perfect for a hungry opera singer coming through. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. <laughs> Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. <laughs> my name's Jen. And my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tiny all the bits and bobs. Things that help us do our job Ingredients we'll put away Ready for use for another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now we're here, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town Oliver's finished! Here comes the empty plate! And look small! There's a musical note. What does it say? What does it say? Let's see. It says, Dear Big Cup Jen and Little Cup Small, thank you for my musical muffin. I love the taste of honey and lemon. Here's a little gift to help you chat to one another when you're across the kitchen. Love, Olive. Paper cups and string? That's a strange gift. It's a string phone, so we can hear each other across the kitchen. You listen into to this bit up. Okay. And I'll go to this end of the kitchen and speak into this cup. The sound, the sound should travel, travel along the string. The string. Hello, Hello, can you hear me? Oh, it worked. My little ears can hear you loud and clear. See if you can hear this. Oliver's been helping me with my singing. <laughs> Oh, I think I can hear you a bit too well now, Small. See you 